The first case is a 46-year-old patient with an incidental finding of an adenocarcinoma at routine random biopsy sampling for suspected gastritis. Subsequently, he was referred to our unit for localization and endoscopic treatment of suspected early gastric adenocarcinoma. At endoscopy, we see a vastly hemorrhagic gastric mucosa with marked thickening and swelling of the gastric folds. The mucosa shows a mosaic pattern that resembles the pattern that we know from portal hypertensive gastropathy. The gastric wall is rigid and hardly distends upon constant air insufflation. There is no peristalsis at all. Although you do not see a gross tumor here, this is the typical appearance of linitis plastica of the gastric corpus. It might be mistaken for some kind of gastritis if you are not aware of the typical characteristics of serous carcinoma. Endosonography in this patient shows massive wall thickening and the layer structure is barely recognizable. The diameter of the posterior gastric wall is broadened to 10 millimeters. At further withdrawal of the scope through the stomach, we also see a bizarre thickening of the muscular layer, which is the hypoechoic outer layer of the stomach. These findings confirm an extensive tumor growth with infiltration of the complete wall of the whole gastric corpus. Right here, we also see some intraperitoneal fluid collection as an indicator that there might be even some peritoneal involvement of the tumor. Here we are at our next case. At the esophagogastral junction, we see the spontaneously bleeding exulcerated carcinoma of the cardia. As we advance the endoscope, you see the typical features of linitis plastica. There is marked thickening of the gastric mucosal folds and complete absence of peristalsis. Although we insufflate the stomach constantly, the gastric lumen is difficult to distend due to gastric wall rigidity. The antrum again looks pretty normal. At the 5 o'clock position, there is a 1 cm sessile hyperplastic polyp. After maximal distension of the stomach, we see these isolated enlarged gastric folds at the anterior wall. Although they are enlarged, they do not look like a tumor at first glance. The mucosa around these folds appears regular, but atrophic. In the J position, we see the exulcerating tumor at the gastroesophageal junction that obviously infiltrates the lesser curvature of the stomach but also encompasses much of the gastric corpus as linitis plastica. Indeed, it is undermining the regular appearing surface of the gastric corpus and causes some giant folds that are some distance from the visible carcinoma. Here is our third case. This is a patient with known lobular breast cancer and metastatic linitis plastica of the stomach. 
Indeed, this kind of breast cancer is the most frequent malignant tumor to metastasize into the gastrointestinal tract in females. Macroscopically, the appearance of linitis plastica due to metastatic lobular carcinoma is indistinguishable from diffuse undifferentiated gastric adenocarcinoma, UC mucosa with a mosaic pattern, thickened folds, rigid gastric wall, lack of peristalsis. In our case, post-mortem analysis showed diffuse spreading of the carcinoma to the peritoneum and most visceral organs. Here you see islands of monotonous neoplastic cells with signet ring-like appearance in the mucosa of the gallbladder. <laughs> 